Hey everybody, this is Jason Ritchie. I'm here uh, recording this lesson for the third time because I suck at technology. <clears throat> so anyway, here we go. This lesson is about root notes and minor pentatonic scale. But its purpose is not really either. It's to get you playing a minor pentatonic scale by yourself in a blues way that incorporates all three elements of music <clears throat> melody rhythm and harmony rhythmically you're going to be counting one two three four and playing in time so you're all by you're on your own there and you're holding down that end of the deal melodically you're then going to be also playing a scale while counting it out in a rhythmic fashion so but you're going to be playing a group of notes together <clears throat> that's a melody that's your scale in this case it'll be the minor pentatonic scale and then harmonically you're going to be playing at a specific time according to a 12 bar blues format you're going to be playing the root note or the defining note of each chord so all harmony is is close that all harmony is is playing notes that directly relate to the chord that you're trying to let people know about or that you're responding to that's being played around you or that's in your head or playing notes that indirectly relate to that chord so <clears throat> that's it so you got a big job ahead of you so let me just show you the exercise first to keep your attention here okay <laughs> All right, so here we go I'm just going to play the exercise and then also there's tab underneath this here on YouTube that you can read and that'll kind of explain what it is I'm doing but I'll I'll explain it myself as we go. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, two different things I'm putting together. The first thing I'm doing is I'm playing a root note, defining the, the chord, and I'm doing that in a particular time. <clears throat> what I mean is that I'm playing it on the down, on, on the one, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and root note two and three and four and root note two and three and four. Another root note and two and, and another root note and three and four and root note two and so what that is I got another video on this called root notes and if you don't know what they are maybe you should check that out first but I but I think you'll be okay if you just watch this one all right <laughs> let me just show you what the exercise would be like just halfway okay so here's just the root notes of the twelve bar blues oh by the way G harmonica played in the key of D, cross harp, second position. Two, three, four. Two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. That is the four of the root note of four. Root note of one. Root note of one. Root note of five. Root note of four. Root note of one. Root note of one. <clears throat> That's it. That's the whole 12 bar blues. So I'm just playing that root note on one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two draw two, three, four. Two draw two, three, four. Four blow two, three, four. Four blow two, three, four. Two, three, four. 
two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. <clears throat> so that's a great lesson on its own if I haven't already done that. I, I can't remember all what I've already taught and stuff, and I can't stand to go back and watch my videos. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, the second part is I'm just throwing that scale in there. Okay, so <clears throat> during beats two, three, and four, I'm putting in a minor pentatonic scale. Just as a side note, I could put in any scale I wanted. So maybe those of you who are bored with the minor pentatonic scale, I can't imagine how that could happen to you. But if it did, <laughs> you could put in a major scale or a mode or major pentatonic or whatever, you know, whole tone scale, any, anything you wanted to put in. So anyway, l let's dig it, okay? Let's dig it. So I'm going to play root note and then the scale. Root note and then the scale. So... Now you notice I'm hitting that two draw twice. Well, let me tell you why that is. Because I'm hitting it once as a root note. And then I'm hitting it once as the starting tone in the scale. That won't happen when I go to four. Only on one. So that's it. Root note and then the scale. I'm going to play the scale. I'm going to play the scale. So this exercise, what it's designed for is it's like, say you've, somebody like me or, 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 or me, or, or you watch these videos and everyone's, you need to learn the pentatonic scale and need to get good at it. And then you, you, so you learn it, you know, you do the work and you put in your time and your effort. And then, you know, you, you get to the gig or, or, or to the, to the band practice or, or, or you're playing over a YouTube even, or, or at a jam at an open mic and you're thinking to yourself, you know, what's the use of that scale, man? Like, I'm not really using it. And, like, I don't really know how it, it's supposed to go in there. Like, I, I understand that pain. <laughs> okay? So this exercise is designed to kind of, like, show you how this thing... It's not only how it works, not only how it works in the blues, but how to make it work for you. Like, how to make it your thing. Man, like how to make your own music out of it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it to that place now, okay? So once you learn it, once you can play the root and then play the scale, root of each of one, four, five. What is a one, four, five? Just really quickly. So I'm in the key of D, right? So that means that the root is gonna be D. It's gonna be the one. It's gonna always start on the one. So I'm going D, E, F, G, A. So one, two, three, four. Four and five. Okay, so it's just the roots of the major scale. So that's all I'm doing is I'm just counting up one, two, three, four, five, six, meow, meow. Okay, that's it. So, you know, that's what the that's why we call them root notes. It's it's the starting tone. It's the tonal center. Okay. Okay, so anyway, this is what I got going, okay? I got the root note and then the minor pentatonic scale. So maybe you're bored with that. What do you do? Okay, 
So if you can do that, maybe try doing it backwards. So I'm going to play root note, and then I'm going to run the scale instead of forwards, backwards. Here's the scale. It's also written down below. So it's, you know, two draw, three draw, bend a half step, four blow, four draw, five draw, six blow. Ow. So I can do the same exercise and run the scale backwards. I could run one forwards and then one backwards. So root note, forward scale, root note, backwards scale, or down descending scale. Hear it? Here we go. Four. Okay, so I'm, now I'm like starting to, what I'm starting to do is take things out of context. You know, I'm starting to rearrange them, play them differently. Same sequence of notes. Another thing I can do is, <clears throat> if I want to start making it less scale sounding, <clears throat> is maybe not even directly take them out of sequence, but just reduce the amount of notes. That way it's easier, it's more manageable to take them out of sequence, or even not. So instead of playing all five notes... Instead of playing all five of them, I, you know, I just play three or four. check it out these lower notes that I'm playing they're just the same notes that I'm playing up top so I'm not going out of the scale I'm just playing a lower octave it's two draw double bend one draw and one blow so I'm gonna play the root note and then just the first three notes of the scale shut down on me <laughs> okay there we go so you know that's how easy it is my once you get it you you know my computer can I can be typing in my password and still playing the thing and you know 
I got my password wrong, but anyway. <clears throat> so the other thing I can do with it too is I can start, you know, swinging it. You know, like I don't have to play one and two and three and four and one and two and, you know, I don't have to play it so straight like... I could maybe drag a note a little longer and then catch up on another one. So I'm just kind of, you know, like this whole idea of swing, man, is really crazy. It, it, it's it's very uh, intimidating. People say, well, does it swing or not? And, you know, we, we worry about this. It's It becomes almost like uh, impotence or erectile dysfunction where the more we worry about it, the worse it's, <laughs> it's going to be. And what we just need to do is feel it. And, and the best way to feel where... Where's where zero is 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 to play zero. So just play it straight until you're absolutely bored, and then you're absolutely gonna know where negative one and plus one is. So you'll know where behind the beat and ahead of the beat is, if you can feel where straight is one and two and three and four. You're gonna be able to feel where underneath and and on top of that is. <clears throat> you know, it, I like to think of it as toying with the music or just playing with the music instead of instead of this word swing which has you know all these <laughs> really like uh like lots of pressure man there's lots of pressure here like louis armstrong you know is like create all this pressure he says you know it doesn't mean a thing if it if it ain't got that swing you know like i don't want all that i don't want all that on me i don't need that I don't need that new that Louis Armstrong uh, negative mojo on me, man. You know, like, I just want to have fun. So I try to think of it, instead of swinging it, I try to think of it as toying with it. <laughs> or just even... Yeah, I like tend to get a little quiet sometimes when I swing. I like to pull back, you know what I mean? Anyway, yeah, this is a junior well, well, wells, you know. So anyway, that's the exercise, guys. That's all it is. I'm just, I'm playing it. I'm take, I'm shortening the notes. I'm taking the notes out of context, too, you know. Like, if I was just playing this without playing the sequence of scale, right? But playing the same thing, but just improvising, it would sound something like this.
See how I came right back to it at the end? Because that's what's at the core of it, man. At the core, all this is this. So listen, y'all, if you listen to the way I'm playing at the end of it, and you feel intimidated, or you feel like that's what you should be doing today, or tomorrow, or maybe even in a month, you're crazy. I um, developed this exercise three years ago, and I've been working it and teaching it every day with students. Listen, be easy on yourselves. Do it 20 minutes every day, or 20 minutes every other day. 15 minutes every other day is good enough. Root note, then the scale. And play it straight. There's nothing wrong with getting bored of it. Play it until you're blue in the face. That's why you only do it for 20 minutes. When you're tired of it, when you're bored of it, that's when all of the good stuff starts to happen. When if you if you're trying to get all the improvised things and the exercises and try to figure out where Jason just went outside of the scale cuz I did, you know, I put a few extra notes in there. You know, you're you're going to miss the whole point of the thing, man, you know. So just be cool. I just wanted to show you where it goes. I just wanted to show you that it's a real thing in in my playing. But I'm not expecting you to do that. And if you do, that's wonderful. And, and I'm sure you'll have your own way of doing it that's even cooler than mine, maybe. But, uh, you know, the point is, is be easy on yourself. These things take time to work themselves into our playing. And the only way we swing anything is, when we, is until we know it so well that I can type my password in and, and keep playing it. That's how, that's how I got to be able to play this thing while listening to a commercial and then turn to my buddy and tell him every word in the commercial. When I can hear you and still play the exercise, that's when I know I got it. When I got it like that, it's time to start rearranging it, playing it backwards and forwards, taking the notes out of context, exploring new interval relationships, two, one, three, two, four, three, etc. Just up and down mathematical, changing around until, until I don't care anymore, until I just start jamming and feeling it and playing quiet and thinking of Junior Wells again. So right back to the very start, full circle. <clears throat> it was a fun trip. So anyway, hey, you guys, listen, check it out. Um, uh, go to mooncat.org, M-O-O-N-cat.org, www.mooncat.org. It's my website. I got CDs for sale. Uh, use info if you want Skype lessons, all my tour dates. I'm touring all over the world again and local dates in New Orleans coming up in March. We're moving back to New Orleans and uh, we're very excited about that. So um, anyway, look, check it out. Check out all those things. If you want to donate to me through PayPal, you can do that at jasonritchie1 at gmail.com. Please donate within your budget. It's never expected, but always appreciated. Um, we don't get I, we don't get very many donations here ever. I think we've gotten maybe 10 or 11 in the history of the 100 or so videos that I put up on YouTube. I'm not whining. I'm just saying, look, they're still happening. I'm still doing them. It's not about the money. <clears throat> I do it. It's fun. It's fun to document this stuff, and I know you guys appreciate it. Or most of you. You know, some of them like, some of y'all like to write nice homophobic and, <laughs> and nasty shit. And guess what? I love that stuff. Keep them coming. Keep it coming because then everybody writes more stuff and then my video gets higher ranking. So the nastier you are, the cooler my video goes. Hey, I appreciate it all and God bless you guys and thanks very much for everything. All right, hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Bye-bye.